Hey, listen, we're in Zambia and we're gonna show you how to grow coffee this tall with no rainfall here on Bean Basics. Oh, hey there. Welcome to Bean Basics with Bob and Michelle. Welcome to sunny Zambia and welcome to the Living Hope International Coffee Farm. Uh, we're May 3rd today, I think. May 3rd. May and May begins the coffee picking season. Of course, it's different here than in our farm in Nicaragua, almost completely opposite schedule. Uh, there, they're just flowering, but here we're just getting into picking season. And I was just picking a few red cherries just now. And I don't know if we can actually get up and see some of these beautiful cherries up in the tree. Sure we can. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, uh, coffee does grow all over the world between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn at high altitude. Now, usually what high altitude means is that you're in the mountains. So when you've seen us film in Nicaragua in the past, you would look around on the landscape and it would be jutting up to the sky. Well, that's not happening here in Zambia. It's flat as a pancake, but we are at altitude. We're at about 14, 1500 feet here at the farm. This is a high plateau. Now, uh, the dirt structure looks a lot different. If you look down, you'll see it's red and it's not that rich, dark, you know, brown, black uh, volcanic soil. This still is volcanic soil, but a little more clay-like. One of the things that's unique about Zambia is it doesn't rain that much, which you kind of need a lot of rain in order to make coffee. So if we take a look at one of these coffee plants right here and we just spin around and give this one a shake, this tree right here takes about 12 liters a day. And that's why so many times, yes, coffee grows at high altitude, but it also grows in a rainforest. There's no rainforest here. So the reason we're standing right here is there's a reservoir behind me. And so here, all the coffee is irrigated and there's six board wells here. I think they go from like 60 to 100 feet deep. Meters. So Meters. even deeper. Okay. Meters are deeper than feet. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and they pump into this reservoir uh, all day long. And then the coffee fields here are irrigated. And what's really magical about that is you get to actually grow the or, or control the growing process. And you could actually control the flowering process and when things need to be fruited and so on and so forth. So from flower to fruit, it takes 180 days. You can stimulate these trees to flower with water or by stressing them by not having water. And it sort of just gives you this amazing control. The other advantage of having an irrigation system, which you would never think about in the rainforest, is that you can introduce nutrients, right? Whether it's uh, fertilizer or compost tea. Earlier we were at the compost center. We can take that compost, put it in those, uh, they look like shop vacs sitting on that uh, table over there. You can put that compost tea in there and just let it go right out to the field. And it's really quite remarkable. So here we are at high altitude, no mountains, at a really magnificent coffee farm. But I think that's about all we have to say on this particular topic. So on that note, when you love the world, the world will love you right back. Hey, thanks for joining us. For future episodes, click the subscribe button. Bean Basics is brought to you by OneBigIslandInSpace.com with two Gs.